Alrighty guys, thought I'd do a vlog while I was uh, in Wu, sorting out this corner, nearly pissing over everything as well, hang on a minute, I need to move this spotlight, it's going to be bloody hot, oh it's not actually that hot, somewhere there. I could do with a um, four-way set of spotlights up here, really, not a three-way. Let's see if I can find some. Anywho, I'll turn the camera screen round and I'm going to come this side and I'm going to stick you over there. I've moved all my die-cast cars out from here and put under the bed, which I've done in another video. But what I'm going to put in here as well, whatever I can get off of here in there. First thing that's going to go in is my laptop. So we're going to go through those. Move the ladder out of the way. Right. Oof. And that. That code followed me home one day. It's got legs. Didn't want to do that. Take them down out of the way as well. Yeah. Well, it was payday today, so I did forget to go and top up the electric meter though. But I've got enough in there till morning. If not, tough. <laughs> nah, I've got plenty in there. Engine degreaser. Let's see what I can basically just tuck away in this cupboard. Like I said, I'm going to start with the laptops. <coughs> Catalog, magazine, I mean. Find a home to put all those. Take all that crap off of there as well. Nemo's asleep in the bath. I'm a, um, bath towel. External CD drive. We've got another one of these cooler bases with speed control on this one and an extra USB port. Might actually put that one in my bag and use that one. Docking station for one of my laptops. A friend of mine was going to chuck this out and I rescued it and it's worked ever since. Right, first one off the pile is my Compaq and it is I have no idea because I can't find it, it's under here. The Evo N620C, and I actually quite like this one. I was using this for a while actually. And the RAM, believe it or not, is underneath this panel. Um, it's not maxed out. But it does work fine. Uh, it's got Windows XP Professional on it. Um, COA on it. But I'm not going to put that one in first. I'm going to put the bricks in first, or what we like to call the bricks. I think this one's an E500, Compact Armada. Yep, this is one of two that I've got. This one, I believe, is the Windows 2000 model. Yes, Windows 2000 Professional. I can't remember what 2000 I put on it. But this, along with my Windows 98 one, um, I got from a friend as well. <laughs> he was going to chuck them out, and they worked. So, as this one's got the or had the Windows 2000 COA on the bottom, I decided to put Windows 2000 back on this one, and the same from the Windows 98 one. I think that's the best way around to put them. If I 
we're going to find out. This one's a brick, look at this. Toshiba Satellite Pro brick. And it's bloody heavy as well. It does have one button missing. It's got the little thingy mouse there. It's the 490X CDT. Windows 98, although Windows NT will run on that apparently. That goes with that grey docking station. Custom trokes popped up yesterday. I'm a little bit immobile at the minute. Um, she's taken her Schwinn Stingray, Stingray rather back. Um, left her racing bike here because she rode up on that one. Because I got to do some mods to it. This is quite a nice little one as well. It's Windows XP. Made by a company called RM, and I still found all the drivers and everything for it. This works. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Could do with a RAM upgrade, but... Another Windows XP, Pentium 4. Can't remember the exact, you know, processor speed and hard drive size and everything. In fact, I think I had to put the hard drive in, and I can't remember what I uh, put in. Oh, I don't know, I've got the caddy here. Well, it says dead on it, but it works. <laughs> uh, 80 gigabyte. There we go. I got this in a job lot I bought on eBay. I bought a job lot of six. I might do that again just to see how many I can get working because that was quite fun. <laughs> um. I think I, got f I actually got five. That was it. Five out of the six working. That fire engine has just come back. What's this one? This is another HP. I actually have to say, I've not got anything against HP machines so far, especially their laptops. Right, here we go. Where is it? It's an HP Compaq NX9010. This all works as well. I can't remember, has this got built-in Wi-Fi? I don't think it has on this one. No. Got built-in floppy disk drive on this one. I'll say built-in because I can't see a way to actually remove it easily anyway. We have DVD drive, CDRW, and that's got all the other all the usual bells and whistles. We've got firewire on the end here, internet, dial-up. TV out, S video out I should say, printer ports, VGA out, two USB ports on this end. Oh, we've got volume control and mute and thing on here and I think that's an expansion bay under there. I think, nope, that's the battery. It's not a bad little laptop this one. Windows XP again as usual. This one is an Armada, Compaq Armada. Um, M700. Well, I can't actually remember what I've got installed on this one. But that was another one I got in the job lot of six. Uh, it's a bit dusty as you can see, I need to clean it. Ow. Doesn't even have a COA on it. I have got something installed on it. I just can't remember what I put on it. <laughs> yeah, again, all the usual bells and whistles for something that age. It's got a weird TV out socket on it. Oh, look at that. Standard RCA. Just a standard CD drive on it. IBM ThinkPad, Windows 95 working, a freebie I got. This one, 
I actually went on eBay looking for a project to do and I actually ended up buying this for £5. It's a Viglin, whatever Viglin is, it's got a roller ball there for the mouse. Windows uh, 3.1 installed on this one, when I can remember how to boot it into Windows, I can't remember how to do it now. Because it doesn't boot straight into Windows, you have to do something. But it's been so long since I powered it up, I can't remember how to do it. It's another one I bought at Spares Repairs on eBay. The battery's not in there because the catch is broken and it fell out and hit me on my bare foot and that hurt. So I left the damn thing out. We've got hard drive caddy up at this end. Floppy disk drive. Mouse buttons. And if I can open it up without dropping it. It's a bit filthy but like I said this one does actually work. We've got the roller ball for the mouse there. Brightness control for the screen. I'll have to power some of these up at some point. It's a Compaq LTE Elite 4 slash 75 CXL. Put those there because they're the smallest ones. Alright. I've got a few things in the other room to show you in a minute as well. I've cleared some room up here. This one was a car boot find for £2. It's a Dell Latitude CPX. And I've got it on Windows 98. It worked. Well, I didn't have Windows installed, but it did turn on and everything when I got it, so... That's definitely worth the, worth the gamble. It's the only Dell machine I've got, actually. But I do like it. And it's got interchangeable drives there. I can actually take that out. Like this. You pull this little lock like that, and then just pull on that. So if I wanted to, I believe you can do this when it's turned on as well on this one. But uh, I can now... Oh, it looks like I can add an extra battery in there as well, because I can see battery contacts. I don't know if you can see them in there. They're up uh, this end. But um, I do have floppy disk drives in the lounge, so... I can swap. I do believe you can do it live on this, you can hot swap. I just left the CD drive on there because it's the most common one I was going to use. Great. IBM ThinkPad. I can't remember how to open this one up. Got Windows 98 COA on the bottom. I put Windows 98 on it, but you know what? I cannot find the bloody drivers for this one. I searched and searched and searched. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I would like to get that working properly. And I would like to get some more IBMs in my collection. But just think, I've got this um, cupboard down the bottom here. Just think how many laptops I can stuff in there. <laughs> I don't know why, I've just got this thing for laptops more than desktops, even though I prefer to work on desktops. All right, we're getting there. I did get a few things in town today. I think I said that earlier. Well, is this another M700? Yeah, it is. I cannot remember whether if I put Windows 2000 on one or Windows 98 on one, or what I did with them. Another one, just the same as the other one. I think that's actually metal. Feels like metal anyway. Yeah. Right. Nice sling. That one up there. That one up there. Whew. I come out a bit light-headed. One of these days I'll turn these into shells or something. One day. I ain't got that far yet. Right. Uh, M3. Yeah, I'm going to put a straight handlebar on Cat Strike's um, racing bike. 
she's got a bad back and she said as much as she likes the racing style handlebars and you know, the drop down handlebars it just doesn't do her back a lot of good so I suggested putting a straight bar on so she's in a more upright position um, which would be better for her back I do believe I can actually slide these in that gap just Bit of brute force, but they've gone in the gap. <laughs> Stuff them in, they'll go in. Right, so I've got some space at the front there. What do I put in it? <laughs> That's the question. What do I put in it? Whoa! Um, not the books or anything. I've got some carrier bags of crap basically I'll just chuck in the front of this cupboard various cables in there I could just chuck the rest of these various cables in there and we'll that job done um, actually before we go to the lounge I'll just show you what I've, else I've done in here probably noticed already I've got this shelf all different oh yeah you can see it um, yeah if any of the lamps that could be hung I've hung on the shelf some of the lamps well I took two lamps off the main shelf up here and hung on the shelf as well they're the ones I threw on the bed and then took three lamps from the shelf my wool from the two mono lamps put on that shelf and that's freed up some room on here because I'm rapidly running out of space <laughs> cone light can go in here these are such a pain because of their shape these are a pain to store I actually don't like them because of their state at least with the uh, Nissan version they stand nicely and they are a bit more compact Uh, these ones bloody aren't. What can I stick up there for now? Because I've got some shelf space in here. Uh, not shelf space, some space in the bottom there. I don't really want to waste it, but I don't know what to on top hmm. oh, no. I'll put these carrier bags just in the front here for now there's a couple of items I'll put in here but I can't get to them right this minute and I can't be asked to go and get them so they're behind you there are a couple of little um, I think they're Dell monitors. I don't know if they work yet because I haven't found power adapters to try them on account of I haven't actually looked. <laughs> yep. Some sort of weird ass power supply going there. Right there. I'll sort the rest of the shelf out tomorrow as well. Bike parts I think are in there, so I didn't really want to put them in there, did I? I was looking to put sort of computer rear -re -re bits in the bottom there, but that'll do for now. Like I said, I'm going to carry on with this tomorrow, most likely. Right. So for this next bit, you're coming off the tripod. You see my wolf lamp and mono lamps are now up there. Those Nissan lamps I don't mind. I said Nissan, didn't I? Nissan. It's an E-N, not an A-N. So confusing. 
when companies do that, because it's spelt almost exactly the same as Nissan, as in the car, they've just got EN on the end instead of AN. The car has AN. Anyway, there's actually, <laughs> there's the courier company, um, DHL, and then there's a local car breaker company in town, DLH. <laughs> just to confuse things. Anyway, while, um, or just after Catch Custom Trikes left yesterday, I got a parcel in the mail. I don't know why the mail was like 3 o'clock, or arrived at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, but never mind. And I got this one, which was a freebie. Thanks to uh, a guy that follows my videos, and uh, I know on eBay, whoa, I can't remember his full um, eBay name, and I don't really want to give his real name out on camera, not without his consent anyway. Um, but he sent me this one. Yes, it does look identical to that one, because on the outside it is, apart from my one up here has got the photo cell in it, so it only comes on at night and goes off during the day. This one doesn't have that feature. So, I've now got a pair. I don't know if they did any other versions of those, like a steady burn version. I will just put the rest of them, you know, my JSP lamps all up there. With these two Nissans on the end here. I've got that JSP one there, but that's got nothing to hang it with. And uh, pretty much from the end of that shelf to this one here is all Dorman lamps. I just haven't got the eco light up there. That really should stand up there really, so I've got all the Dormans in the right place. Or in one place, but I'll leave them up there for now. They're not getting in the way up there. Right. It's been a lovely warm day. I'm still sweating. <laughs> Should have a bit of room up there as well now. To stick a few computer type bits. We're not doing car boots this weekend because uh, Mum's got other commitments. You know, she's having to go back to work so she's got jobs to sort out and whatnot. So at least for this weekend car boots are off. It doesn't matter I got paid today so it's not like I need the extra cash. <sighs> yeah. Try taking a breath when you talk. Anyway. All that bloody shit down there I gotta clean up. There's a bin just through there and I go through there I don't know how many times. But I still took it on the floor. Did you know it is possible to get on your own tits? It really is, at least for me. I mean, I sat here the other night and I was clicking a pen, one of my laser pointers, and I was just clicking the buttons. I actually pissed myself off to the point I threw it across the room so I couldn't click it anymore. It's over there somewhere now. Uh, anyway, what did I get today? Nothing that interesting, really. Um, because it's market day in town today, every Thursday. So I grabbed these for a pound each. I've got two of these. Um, if I just roll over here. That one's nearly empty. I have got an almost full one somewhere, but I thought it was under there, but it's not under there now. I can't see it anyway. I have a sticky tape, but that's it. I don't want sticky tape. But I think we all know the average size of one of these that you spend at least a pound each on in some places, if not more. You know, you don't get a lot. But uh, these big old rolls cost me a pound each. And I might, next time I get paid, if he's got any, grab another couple. Because this is actually handy stuff to have. Say next time I get paid, because I'm probably not going to have any change next Thursday to go and get some, so... But, uh, I just thought... I, th I thought that? I thought that I did. 
I saw, <laughs> I saw, that's going to give me the giggles now. I just saw these and I thought, hmm, I sell on eBay quite a lot, so, and I didn't pay my eBay fees this time. I left those because I had to pay the phone bill, which is more important to me. And I've not really got anything to put on eBay at the minute, and I haven't really got the money to buy anything on eBay, so I thought, might as well just leave the fees until next time I get paid. I'll suspend my account, but like I said, I've got nothing to put on it and nothing to buy, so there's the other one. And the other thing I've bought, and I might get some more again for a pound a bag, are these. Always handy to have these. I've got some big ass, really strong ones in the kitchen, but they're not really useful for doing fiddly things on a bicycle or something, you know, if you just want to put a brake cable out of the way, or if you're putting on dynamo lights to put the wires out of the way. So I just thought, uh, for a pound, grab those. And also I grabbed, not one, and yes that was a pound as well, they were three quid, but he had a couple of these left and he let them go for a pound. So there's the other one. <laughs> but um, there isn't mo well, there was an ulterior motive for me to go back and get the other one because I didn't get them both together. I only got one. When I was reading the box, it said they took four times D cell batteries, so I knew. Well, I didn't actually know it had one of these adapters in. I thought it was like the one I gave my mum that took the D batteries straight in the body. It didn't. I opened it up. I had one of these. So I thought, hmm, these cost more on eBay to buy separately. So I went back and got the other torch just for this, because these are actually pretty damn handy. Um, so if I want to demonstrate several of my road lamps together, I've got four of these now, so I could run four from those on rechargeable batteries. But, uh, normal batteries like that will fit in these, but there we go. It's not actually a bad torch. But I don't need to, and I know someone who probably could make use of one of these actually. I think that's the one I was going to keep, I can't remember. They're both the bloody same anyway, so it don't matter. But she does live right out in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, so I think something like this might benefit her. So if Cat's Custom Trikes wants one, she's more than welcome to have one with the battery. I'll include the lot. 19 LEDs in there. Apparently these will run for 35 hours, according to the box anyway. 35 hours of light. That's actually quite a long time. I'm actually wondering if that's continuous. So I might stick some rechargeable batteries in here, fully charged ones, and uh, leave it running just to see how long it does run for. And apparently it's weatherproof, waterproof, and impact resistant. I'm not sure about the impact resistant bit. Although I'd the plastic does feel like your average one anyway, so... But I have to say, for 19 LEDs, no, it actually isn't bad. It's got a good beam on that. I might take it outside later and... Uh, usual um, rubber-covered switch. It's got plastic. No, that's rubber. That's actually got a rubber seal around here. Ah. It's just to think if you drop this from too much of a height, I've got a feeling that plastic's going to crack. But, uh, I've been wanting something like this with a good beam on it for ages, and I thought, for a quid, I'll give it a go. I think this front bit looks weird with all them LEDs, but... So, if you want one, trike lady... <laughs> trike lady... <laughs> She's so going to slap me one of these days, you know. <laughs> You're more than welcome to one. 
I can't think of anything else to talk about now. I think that was it. And the battery's going down on this anyway. I'll stick him up there so you just have to look at the top of my head for a minute. I want a drink. Let's move that out of the way. Doesn't look like anything's going on on Facebook. I sweat, look. I was doing that walking around town with Mum. And it's only spring, so just imagine what I'm like in summer. Anyone that's been following me since last summer know how much I sweat because I walk around without a t-shirt on. For that reason. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain there's nothing else I want to talk about. Can't think of anything. Oh! I got this today as well from a charity shop. It's got Universal Studios or something on the bottom, hang on. 20th Century Fox Studios on the bottom. Um, and I know this is from a movie, but I cannot for the life of me remember. So if anyone recognises this truck and the movie it's from, please let me know. It's not Dukes of Hazard, is it? I can't remember. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Put my thumb on the camera, it would help. My thumb was over here somewhere. <laughs> uh, dislike it if you disliked it, and uh, I will talk to you again soon. Bye!